In this video, I'm going to show you how to use the SharePoint source within Task Factory from Pragmatic Works. The first thing that we need to do is have a data flow task as part of our SSIS package. And then inside of the data flow task, we need to pull in our SharePoint source. Uh, when we open up the SharePoint source, first thing we see is that we need to select a connection. If you don't have a connection, you can click on Create New SharePoint Connection. Uh, and then fill out the data here. So you can test, test, test whatever you need to do. Uh, if you're sitting behind a proxy or a firewall, you can put that proxy information here. Uh, once you're done filling out all this information, you click Test Connection. If that succeeds, then you're good to go. If not, it should tell you why you cannot connect to your SharePoint server. Uh, in this case, I already have a SharePoint server that I'm connected to, so I'm going to use that. Uh, the next thing you need to do is, and this is required, is you need to have a list. So in this case, I'm just going to select bugs as part of as my list. Uh, an op two optional things here: the select view. Um, you have views that are part of the um, the list, and you can see here that this just further restricts the data coming back from this list. So I'm going to leave that uh, that blank. Uh, but I am going to fill out the, the filter here. So what I want to do here, uh, if I want to add a filter, I would just want to pull back only the bugs uh, that contain uh, file properties. Let's see. And I can click, after I've added my restriction, I can click Preview Data. And we can see that we get four back. Uh, but I want to further restrict it uh, by saying that I want to only have priority of... high okay you can see here that if the priority is a uh, choice that you select in SharePoint those same choices are going to be part of the drop down here so I just select high I click on preview data and I see that I get two rows back okay now if you try to add another restriction as part of this group here uh, you're going to see that it's going to tell you that you can only have two query restrictions per group and what that means is that um, the camel, which is what is used to restrict the query, um, it only allows two restrictions per group. So we have this AND group here, and we can only send in two. OK, so we click OK here. And what I basically want to do is I want to send this data to a flat file destination uh, for testing purposes. And I think I already have this connection manager set up. Yep, uh, one thing I do want to do is I want to put the text qualifier there. And I want to click on the mappings here. Those are automatically mapped for me. Okay, and one more thing is I want to see the, the data going through it. Um, so we click here. Okay, okay. All right, so we're going to go ahead and run this. It's running now. Okay, so there's our data viewer, and we can see that we have two rows that came back and all the data that came back with it. All right, and we should see SSIS, and there's our data that came back as well. So you can see how easy it is to pull the data from the SharePoint uh, server using our SharePoint source.